Hi guys, this is a tutorial for adding the red green columns onto your uh, watch list on Thinkorswim. So that would be the uh, long and short uh, or bullish and uh, bearish uh, color codes onto your watch list, as well as the indicator for uh, it'll display when the price has entered a certain zone, for example, zone two, zone three, or uh, zone four. Um, and without further ado, first I would create a watch list. Uh, if you know how to do that, that's great. For those that do not know how to do that, I'll take a few seconds to show you how to do that. Uh, there's a mark and watch tab up top. Click on that. And then um, to the right, if you can follow my mouse, there's a menu item. Click on that to create the watch list. Give it a name. And then just add uh, tickers or symbols. There's an option for you to do that here under the word symbol. Just click on that and just add away. You can add one or add 10 or however many you want to sort of watch. That's what the watch list is for. I'm going to add just a few. This is for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll do futures as well as maybe some tickers, regular tickers, regular stocks. Click Save. Now we're going to add the gadget for the watch list. Bottom left is it look, looks like a plus sign. Hit, on, hit that icon, select Watch List. Now we're going to customize how this is displayed on your, on your screen. Uh, there's a gear icon. If you can follow my mouse, click on that gear icon, click customize. And then we're going to remove what we don't want or want to be displayed on the screen or on the watch list uh, area. Just remove what you don't want. And then click on the menu, drop down, find custom quotes, and then let's just add a few. Just drag and drop. That should do it, or you can double click. That'll do it as well. Now, we're gonna customize uh, this set. Start with the first one. There's a scroll icon, as you can see. Click on that scroll icon. Click on Thing Script Editor. We're gonna delete this, and we're gonna add our own code. Let me go ahead and copy the code. I didn't do that. You should probably do the same. Copy the code and paste it on here. Two things we need to do before we save this. We're going to change the date or the day or time period. Click on this little the D. That's the time period. Uh, I'm going to start with a one minute time period and then give it a name. One minute. Hit OK. Go to the next one. Hit the little scroll icon. We can delete this thing script editor and then paste the code. Again, change the time period, make it to five minutes, and give it a name. Five minutes. Hit OK. Go on to the next one. Scroll icon, delete, thing script editor, paste, change the time period. Give it a name and then hit OK. I'm going to do two more. I'll just let you watch as I do two more. This will be 30 minutes. Give it a name. Hit OK. make this one hour name it one hour hit okay you know what I'll do one more for the daily I'll 
I'll leave this as it is. This is for the daily time period. And I'll name it one day. Big Script Editor. Paste. Hit OK. Now we're going to hit OK one more time. There you got it. Um, what what you should be doing now is now that you have this set up the way you want with the color codes, we're now, we're now going to add the watch list which you created prior. Click on this menu or drop down area here. Your watch list is going to be stored under where it says personal. It's here. Find it. Click on it. There you got it. Another thing you can do is to detach this watch list. Okay. It's easy to do so. There's a menu button here. Click on that. Detach it. <clears throat> and if you'd like to pin this um, watch list, you can do so by hitting this icon. It looks like a pin. Click on that and this screen or this watch list will always be on top of all your other screens no matter what you do. Okay. See how it stays on top of all the other screens because you've already you pinned it. You can also close this area here. Click on this little arrow. There you go. Done. That's all I got. If you have questions, fire away. We'll all be happy to help. Happy trading, guys.